Good morning again, everyone. First, giving honor to God, I thank him for the opportunity and thank the pastor and his wife for permission and Reverend Tuck. Our scripture this morning comes from the Application Bible, be the 150th Psalm. Subject or topic, praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we stand before you today in your omnipotent presence to ask that you grant us strength. We want you to give us strength to power through all the tasks today, whether little or big. It is by your will that we live, O Lord, and we know it is also by your will we will not go weak today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the timber and dance. Praise him with the stringed instrument and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The longest psalm, for your knowledge, is 119. It has 176 verses. The shortest psalm is Psalm 117. It has two verses. It is also a praise psalm. David is given credit for writing the Psalms. The book of Psalms is found in the Old Testament, and as you remember, a testament is an agreement between God and his people. The focus of this psalm is obvious. The word praise is used 13 times in these six short verses. Praise is defined as expressing approval of one's admiration for someone or something. Some say that this definition seems dry and stiff. In today's psalm, praise is an occasion for celebration involving music and dance. Praise of the Lord is a joyous occasion a celebration of who he is and what he has done. The psalmist simply assumes that joy, excitement, and happiness are all part of our praise to God. Psalm 150 is not only a beautiful expression of praise, it's also a lesson in praising the Lord. It tells us where to praise, why we praise, how to praise, and who should offer praise. Praise the Lord. Where do we praise? In God's sanctuary, a mighty firmament. Wherever we are in the world is a proper praise to praise the one who created all things. Why do we praise? First, because of what God does. He performs mighty acts. Second, because who God is. The psalmist praised him for his excellent greatness. The all-powerful creator is the sustainer of the universe. How should we praise? Loudly, softly, soothingly, enthusiastically, rhythmically, Boldly, unexpectedly, fearlessly. In other words, we can praise God in many ways and on many occasions. Who should praise? Everything that has breath, young and old, rich and poor, weak and strong, every living creature. God's will is for everyone to whom he gave breath of life to use that breath to acknowledge his power and greatness. Praise is our enthusiastic expression of gratitude to God for reigning in glory forever. 
Let every creature rise and bring peculiar honor to our king. Angels descend with songs again, and earth repeat the loud amen. Praise is the overflow of a joyful heart. Praise the Lord. 